Pre-use checklist. Before using the Gradian CCV to provide ventilation for a patient, it is important to first go through the CCV pre-use checklist, which is a series of functional checks to make sure that the ventilator is ready for use. The first step is to make sure the CCV is locked onto the workstation stand and that the brakes on the stand casters are engaged. Then visually inspect the machine for cleanliness, making sure it is free from dust and dirt. Next, perform a functional check of the batteries and battery configuration. The external battery should be plugged into the mains power and the charging indicator should be illuminated, signifying that the external battery is charging. Press and hold the charge indicator button to confirm the charge status of the external battery. Next, check that the internal battery is charging by confirming that the CCV is plugged into mains power and that the external battery is not connected to the CCV. The indicator light on the CCV's front panel marked external AC power connected when lit should be illuminated. Read the charge level from the battery status indicator bar which will be blinking to indicate that the battery is charging. Next, check that the air inlet filter is present and clean. Remove the back inlet filter cover on the left panel and visually inspect the filter. Ensure that it is not dirty or clogged, then replace the filter and filter cover. The next step is to confirm that the primary and backup oxygen sources are available and that oxygen supply is sufficient. Double check that active or passive humidification is present and properly placed. Then confirm that the breathing circuit and exhalation valve are clean and assemble correctly. Make sure that the valve body port and the catheter mount suction port are plugged and that the valve cover is sitting flat and secure on the valve body. Next turn the CCV on and connect it to a test lung. Confirm that the ventilator is delivering gas by ensuring that the test lung expands and contracts with each breath. To confirm operation of the low O2 source alarm, first make sure that the percentage O2 setting on the CCV is above 21. Shut off the primary oxygen source, wait for the source pressure to drop and confirm that the low O2 source alarm activates. Turn the primary source back on, confirm that the alarm deactivates and that the alarm record clears. Next, check the operation of the low airway pressure alarm. With the CCV in a volume limited mode, disconnect the test lung from the patient circuit. Ensure that the PIP falls below the set low airway pressure alarm limit. Wait until the low airway pressure alarm activates, which should happen within about 12 seconds. Reconnect the test lung to the patient circuit and once the lung is full, ensure that the PIP rises above the low airway pressure alarm limit and that the alarm deactivates. Clear the alarm record. To check the high airway pressure alarm, disconnect the test lung from the patient circuit and occlude the end of the circuit. Ensure that PIP rises above the high airway pressure alarm limit and that the alarm activates. Confirm that delivered PIP is close to the high airway pressure alarm limit. Reconnect the test lung to the patient circuit and wait for the high airway pressure alarm to deactivate, which should happen within about 20 seconds. Ensure that no alarms are active and clear the alarm record. The CCV is now ready for use.